Hello and welcome to my Bard quick build video. I decided to make my Bard a half elf. Here is the reason why. You get a charisma modifier of plus two. Then you get to adjust two other abilities by one. Also, the half elf falls under fey ancestry. You have a saving throw against being charmed and you can't be put to sleep, which is a bonus for a Bard. You have a skill versatility which gives you a game proficiency in two other skills of your choice. So if you look at the bard, you got a 1d8 for your hit die, which gives you eight plus your constitution modifier at first level. And then each level after that, you roll a d8 and add your constitution modifier. The best part of this is right down here at the bottom. You get a saving throw in dexterity and charisma and also three other skill choices. So that's five skill choices that you get to pick from right off the bat. For the sake of consistency and the fact that I'm doing this for an example, I'm just going to use the same numbers that I used for the Barbarian Quick Build. I'm going to start off by plugging the 15 in Charisma, and I'll show you why here in just a minute. I'm going to put the 17 up in Dexterity and the 18 in Constitution. And I'm going to take and put that 12 up there in Strength. I'm going to put my 14 in Wisdom, which means I've got a 10 that I'm going to plug up there in Intelligence. We're going to take our Charisma, of course and increase that by two, which is gonna give us a 17. We're gonna bump our dexterity by one. Give me us an 18 there. Ah, intelligence, give us an 11. So that means our dexterity, our constitution are gonna have a plus four, a modifier. Our charisma is gonna have a three. Our wisdom is going to have a two. Our strength, a one. And then our intelligence is gonna have a zero. So now that I got that done, I'm going to pause the video really quick, and I'm going to go through and fill in my skills. So I have proficiency in my dexterity and my charisma. So I'll just plug that. And of course, well, I have a two proficiency, which will change the dexterity modifier to a six, and my charisma to a five. So now I get to choose five skills that I can adjust. I'm going to go with Insight, which is going to bump that two up to a four. Deception, which is going to make that a five. Investigation, going to make that a two. Uh, perception, I'm going to make that a four. And I'm going to go with Persuasion. Bump that up to a five as well. I got a five in Deception, four in Insight. Two in investigation, four in perception, five in persuasion. Now this is looking like a pretty solid build. To our initiative, we have a four, so that's our initiative score. To get our speed, we're going to, have to look back on that half elf page. And right here we go 30 feet. So now we got to look at armor class. So we're going to take a look at uh, Bard really quick. It says light armor. So if we go to armor, we've got light armor. We got padded, leather, and studded. I think I'm just going to go with leather for right now. So that's an armor class of 11 plus my dexterity modifier. So we got 11 plus 4 gives us a 15 armor class. And our hit die is a D8. And we get 8 plus our constitution modifier out the gate, which gives us a 12. Well, there we go. We built our bard really quick. Let's see, what else do we have? Oh, let's see. Our name is Jeffrey Clint. We're a first level bard. Half elf. I went with the entertainer background, which I will go into that when I do backgrounds. I have a chaotic good alignment, and of course, my name, Faygo. That's it for this one. See you next time.